evil never dies. It only sleeps. Come back after the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Richard, with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. And as you can see, I'm drinking out of my beautiful Love is Love Mickey mug. Yes, we got this at Walt Disney World. And inside, I'm drinking Walt Disney World's Jamaican Me Crazy Coffee. It's vanilla, caramel, and rum. And it's so good. So right now it's approximately 2.25, 2.30 here in Sacramento. It is so hot out. It's in the uh, upper 80s. So today I'm going to be doing a review on 1992's... Oh, hi kitty. Meow. 1992's... The Devil's End by Deborah Fowler. So, you guys know that she is also the author of Book of the Damned and the trilogy What's Wrong with Valerie, What's Wrong with Tamara, which I'm currently listening to right now. I'm more than halfway through. And then the third part, Bad, Lo Bad Blood. Now this one's the biggest of all three of them. Uh, the one I'm doing today though isn't part of that series. It's The Devil's End. I'm gonna pop up both the paperback version right there, which is right there by the way. And I don't like to use it in videos because it's very hard to find and I don't wanna crack the spine. So I listened to it now. You guys, I'm telling you what. First off, I'm going to read to you what I wrote on my Goodreads account. I know, I know, a lot of you are just like, Richard, if I wanted to know what you said on your Goodreads account, I would go right down there to your account, read the review, and that would be it. But I'm going to talk to you about why I wrote that review the way I did. So, this is the back of the book. It says... For 70 years, he has waited. In Sharon Valerie and teen slumber parties and around campfires, the story is told over and over. 70 years ago on Halloween night, Nathaniel and Marantha Ober made a pact sealed by bloody human sacrifice. A pact with the devil himself. Hmm. Your mother sucks cocks in hell, Garris. That wasn't me, that was the devil. This Halloween, evil will return. Nancy Snell is the most popular girl in high school. She is beautiful and wealthy, and she has discovered the key to unlimited power. The occult force that was summoned to the sleepy town decades ago. She has already chosen the perfect victim needed to perform the ritual. The new girl in town, Lana Bremers. Once again, the town of Sharon Valley will be the doorway to the legions of darkness, and the devil will have his payment in blood on an even more terrifying Halloween night. Okay, and now I'm gonna tell you what I wrote on my Goodreads account. So you guys know that, uh, I'll cover the, I always do my Goodreads account with the bold type at the top. Sorry about the O-ring. Collection. Here's what I wrote. This part's in bold. This book makes the exorcist look like Humpty Dumpty and trigger warnings. 
Warning, do not read if you are bothered by extreme graphic scenes of incestuous and violent, rape of a small child by a parent, and the torture, murder, and eating of a boy's pet pup puppy. Yes. Otherwise, I love this hard to find in its original form horror classic. Now, synopsis I already read to you. Uh, I already read that part. So, and then I wrote, too bad that Fowler never lived long enough, a la Ruby Jean Jensen, to see her works become cult classics. This book was originally released in 1992, the year after her breakthrough novel, What's Wrong with Valerie? And I loved this sick and disturbing novel just as much as I did Valerie, but a half a star less. Now this book w deals with every cliche in horror. Witchcraft, demons, devil worship, incestuous rape, possession, rape, eating of a pet puppy. That's not a, 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 a regular horror trope, but uh, yeah. And the list goes on and on. Now, if you, if you are upset by any of these subjects, this book is not for you to read. There were scenes in this book, especially the possession, possession ones, that made The Exorcist look like a child's nursery rhyme. Yes, it is that graphic, and I loved it. I listened to the audiobook because I did not want to crack my original copy, and this book in paperback is hard to find, nor will I ever pay for this one. I would never buy a copy of the original copy now today because you're not going to find it for less than like 50 bucks. Great read and very gut-wrenching. I gave it 4.5 bloody screams. Okay, here's the reason why I didn't give it a 5-star read. Now, as I said, I listened to the audio version. And the audio version, though it's narrated and read, very well. When the girl does the voices of the demon, she sounded like Darth Vader meets Reagan McNeil. Yeah, if you cross those two voices, that's what you'd get when she did the voices of the demons. And as much as I loved this book, I read it in, a, or I listened to it in a little over four and a half, five hours. It is so graphic. It's so disturbing. And it is totally fucked up. Yes. This book is so gross. And the the <laughs> the eating. Oh my god. The eating of the dog and the scenes of oh peeling of skin and disembowelments. Uh, <laughs> if you love your horror, very uh, 90s, but it kind of reads like horror from the 70s and 80s. Yes, Deborah Fowler was that good of an author. It's so sad because uh, I did not have these two books by her. What's Wrong with Tamara or Bad Blood? I didn't even know she wrote a third part to the series. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, Bad Blood, like I said, is the biggest one of the three. Um, What's Wrong with Valerie? A sheer five-star read. Um, as you guys all know, I can't pull up that review. I could probably do another review on it, but that original video was on my old channel, which I lost most of those videos, unless I can do it as a blast from the past. Now, back to Deborah Fowler. The woman wrote horror like, it was weird. She wrote horror like she actually lived this stuff or did this stuff. And heaven forbid, if anybody lived that messed up of a life, I cannot imagine. But uh, that is my review of The Devil's End. You guys, like I said, it's very, very, very graphic. It's disturbing. It's very bloody. However, the book that I'm listening to now, the second part in the Valerie trilogy, What's Wrong with Tamara? It's worse than this one. Yeah, it's... Oh my God, you guys are not gonna believe when I do my review for What's Wrong with Tamara. Cause it's like, I wanna say what was wrong with Deborah Fowler. If she were still alive today, she would probably be 
Stephen King's number one competition for uh, horror classics. Because man, oh man, she. Some people say you know her horror was it was really cheesily written. I loved it. I thought she her character development, everything about these books that I've read by her so far are just, I love them. And I can't wait to get to the other three of hers that I have. But, you guys, that's it for The Devil's End. But yeah, can you imagine Darth Vader and Regan McNeil having sex and having a baby that sounded like that? Mm. I wish I could have downloaded a voice clip from her... <laughs> <laughs> doing the voices but I listened to it through my Libby app and I already returned the book so uh, yeah I probably can't even pull it up in fact I think it's on script I'll try to get a voice clip yeah I'll try to get a voice clip of that voice so you can hear it it does it sounds like Reagan McNeil crossed with Darth Vader yeah hmm <laughs> that was it you guys I'm gonna have some more coffee even though it's hot, it's hot outside. It's miserable. Um, meow. Butters wants to come in so bad. But as you guys can tell, I have neon orange on. Meow. I don't want white cat hair all over my shirt. I'll pick him up when I get out of here. You guys, if you haven't done so already, please give me a thumbs up if you like today's content. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that. Meow. You guys, can you hear him? I'm coming, Butters. I'm coming. Hit that subscribe button right there and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post another one. I'm coming, Butters. Here I come, I promise. Take care, you guys. I'm Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, speaking of videos, Live your life like a scary book. Just don't turn that last page because once you do, it's over. You guys, happy nightmares. Have a good one and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.